Hello, my name is Tim Stiforn. I'm the Caterpillar Filters Product Manager. Today I will be demonstrating how to service the newest technology of cat engine liquid filtration for the Tier 4 Stage 3B machines. First, wipe the outside of the filter housing and the area around the filter housing with a clean, lint-free towel. Make sure you have a proper receptacle in place to collect the fluid being drained from the filter housing. A hose or piece of tubing can be connected to the drain to direct the fluid to the collection point. Open the drain valve and let the fluid drain out of the filter housing. At this time, loosen the bleeder on top of the filter base to allow the fluid to flow freely from the filter housing. Once the fluid has stopped draining, retighten the bleeder on the filter base and the drain valve on the filter housing. Next, remove the filter housing from the filter base. Using a standard filter strap wrench, loosen the filter housing. If there are any connectors or sensors attached to the filter housing, disconnect them at this time. Continue to unscrew the filter housing until it is free from the filter base. The filter element can now be removed by unscrewing it from the filter housing or by unscrewing the drain valve since the filter element is held in the filter housing by the threads on the drain valve. Once the element has been removed, use a clean, lint-free towel to clean out any remaining residue from the filter housing. Make sure the new filter element remains in its original packaging until it is ready to be installed. Remove the new filter element from the packaging and install the new filter element into the filter housing. Screw the filter element into place or screw the drain valve into the filter element. Either method will work. Lubricate the seal on the filter element with clean oil. Install the filter housing back onto the filter base. When installing the filter housing, screw it on until it touches the base. Due to the positive stop feature on the filter housing, you cannot over tighten the filter housing when installing it by hand. If using torque values to install the filter housing, the installation torque for the engine lube filter and the primary and secondary fuel filter housings is 30 newton meters plus or minus 3 newton meters. If needed, reconnect any sensors or connectors that are normally attached to the filter housing during equipment operation. Ensure the drain valve is tightened. Properly dispose of the used filter element and any collected fluids.